Thank you for attending the class. The class, I'm sure everybody has been introduced uh, at the ice breaking session earlier on. And now let's move on to the lesson. Give me a minute, please. <coughs> Today we need to everybody must be able to identify at least two types of fire extinguishers and their users. Yeah? So this is the context of the class. First thing we need to know is the classes of fire. In in Singapore we, we have SEDF Singapore Civil Defense Force. So we have to base on their classifications because when there's a fire, the first thing you know to do is to call the fire department. Yeah, 995, I think everybody knows that. So class A fires, what are class A fires? Class A fires are wood, fire, um, wood paper, cloth, anything that's organic is considered class A. Yes? Why is plastic and rubber considered organic? Uh, because rubber comes from the tree, it burns off easily. Plastic also can be burnt, can be burnt so easily. Oh, yeah. And it's easier to put off. Uh, it, it, it's because we can just use, a, a, for class A, water is enough. So that's why it's, it's considered as it's class, it's class A, because it's the easiest fire to do usually, uh, but not necessarily the easiest. I must say that, because it all depends on how big the fire is. <laughs> so class, everybody has to remember this, all right? Class A is organic materials like wood, paper, rubber, clothes. These are class A fires. And class B fires are your flammable liquids. You can see that thinners, paints, varnishes. These are class A and B are the things you sometimes find in, in, in the dustbins. Bin fires normally is either class A or B usually. And then we have class C fires, which are electrical systems, wiring, and panels. But class C fires, in this case, you have to remember, it's only class C if it's like electrical equipment. If the electrical equipment has been plugged off, then it can be a class A or B. Yeah? Because it's just an organic thing. There's no live electricity going inside. <coughs> class D fires, Actually, we will not be touching on this lesson, but everybody needs to know this. It's because class D fires uh, are usually put out using specialized fire extinguishers, which are assigned by civil defense. So here, I don't know who will be working in, in an environment like this. It's normally in the wafer fab industry. Is anybody in the wafer fab industry here? But if you are ever posted to a Wafer fab industry, you will you will have to know type D D fire extinguishers because they have a lot of metals like potassium, sodium. Like I mentioned uh, earlier on, it was anything that ends with I U M. You can see here all this. They all end with I U M, lithium, sodium, uh, potassium, zirconium, titanium. They all any any metal that ends with I O M is actually easily combustible. Metal and there's a specialized fire extinguisher for these different metals, different fire extinguishers here. That's why we, there's no specific one to be assigned. <coughs> Let's move on from here. And then we got class F, which is your basic your basic kitchen fire. You know, mm. you, you cook something and then the the, the pot gets touches fire, you know. So that's considered class class F fire. <coughs> These are the fire extinguishers that are commonly used in Singapore. We have the water type, the foam type. The water type, you remember earlier on, was class A. Foam type. Actually, if you have a look at the samples that we put up there, you can read very clearly there. <coughs> we have put the, the samples here, you can read there the types of fires each fire extinguisher is putting. It is normally written on the fire extinguisher. So, Time, please read the fire extinguisher that is nearest to you so that you know what its uses are. Right? 
So here you can see that for water fire extinguisher is usually used for wood fires, which are the class A fires for water. For foam fire extinguishers, it's A and B. You can use for wood fires, you can, and you can use for thinners, turpentine, sticks, <coughs> and all. That's been fires, basically. Water and foam. For CO2 fire, you cannot use them for wood fires, because for wood fires is heat emanating. In fact, any fire that's heat emanating, you cannot use gas to, to, to completely block off the oxygen from the fire to, to, to stop the fire. So that, that's why um, CO2 fire is not used for wood fires. And then for dry powder or powder or ABC powder, sometimes they call it, you can use it for any one of them, ABC. That's why it's, it's sometimes called ABC powder fire extinguishers. And then there's the wet chemical which is used either for class A or for the cooking fires. For cooking fires is wet chemical. A, a fire requires oxygen, heat, and the fuel. The fuel will, will decide whether it's class A, B, C, or uh, F, or D. Yeah. So, here, I've put an, uh, an envelope on each of on your group tables. <coughs> Can you please clear your, your table a little bit because you all will need the space <coughs> on your table to, to, to arrange to have this activity in, in the middle of the table. Please, everybody, please clear up the space in the middle of the table and, and open up the, the envelope that's given to you. And arrange your water fire extinguisher. So you can see the green ones in, in the envelope. You can arrange them and please now as as a group can you as your group can you please assign the types of fires which are on the yellow pieces to the correct fire extinguishers. Please you guys have five minutes to do that. <coughs> You have your five fire extinguishers and then assign your assign the fires. Very good, very good. Except for the set the arts of the ABC. It's
Yeah, because you can't get near it because to take it out, like because it's burning. Okay. And that's the other thing. Is everybody done with that? Have you said bin fire? Which one do you use? Are you going to look inside the bin? Check. That's a good question. Then you'll come up with experts. Then this can you please move over to this table and have a look at uh, this one here first? The correct one. Please everybody come over here. Okay, can you see? Um, who did this? It's obvious. Which is the good? <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's very good. It's very good. Because you can see that a lot of these fires, some of these fires, you can use several types of fire extinguishers. You can see from there. You can, you can use paint turpentine. You can use a CO2 or you can use the foam. It's all right. It's good. It's very good. Now, the water type, that's the only thing that um, many fire extinguishers can put this out, actually. If you had assigned this to the wet chemical or the dry order, I wouldn't have said no. It would have been all right. Because this is the easiest fire to put out, organic fires, they are the easiest usually, depending on the size of course. We have a lot of rubbish bin. Yes, it's an organic fire, the rubbish bin is normally, there's no electrical right. there. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you have to look inside the bin to see no, it's burning no. first before you put it out? No, you just put it out. So water if it doesn't, If it doesn't go off, remember the first thing you do yeah. is call the fire, fire yeah. department. If you use one fire extinguisher, you don't have to put it out you go out. Your life is more important than, than the rubbish bin or the, the bin center. The rubbish bin will be downstairs huh? or anything inside it. Hmm? There could be anything inside the rubbish bin, couldn't there? It does not matter at that stage. It could be uh, cooking oil, it could be anything. It does not matter at so that So putting stage. the uh, water on it isn't going to... Uh, it, doesn't good, help. It? it doesn't help. Okay. Back up, let the fire department handle it. So that you, only, you are only the first response. Yes. If you cannot handle it at the first stage, Forget about the fire, get out of the place, every, like everything. All right? Okay. So, from this, from this one here, does anybody have any questions on the what? Their, their layout, please. Any questions, anyone? Everybody so quiet? No questions. Okay, can we move over to that group and, and see what they have done? <coughs> okay, can somebody explain here, please? Who is the group leader? Ethan said the vegetable oil. <laughs> said the oh, cooking <laughs> oil. Cooking vegetable oil. Right. Correct? Right. Because it's a cooking under. oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a class F. Yes. That is right. Mm. Oh. Now we have wirings. Why are you using powder fire extinguisher for the wiring? <coughs> How about electrical panels and... Coffee maker, toaster, microwave, are you using CO2 or is there any reason why you're using CO2? Because they're not Yeah, so the plant can go this one has CO2. Like to go plant on You can use <laughs> the powder for the electrical <laughs> panels here or you can use the coffee maker or come up here. The CO2 is, as you can see on the, on the chart there, the CO2 actually has only one area which is like turpentine and stuff like that. See, your arrangement actually is, is not a very good, although, although even if you did use the wrong fire extinguisher, as long as you do not use the wrong fire extinguisher on the wrong type of fire, any, any live electrical equipment, you guys will have to make sure 
that you don't use anything that's wet. It says here wet chemical. Powder is dry, which is okay, you can use. Foam, you know it's, a, it's wet, you cannot use. Water is wet. So on electrical panels, if you had said use CO2 or wet, then you, you probably have caused the whole building to burn maybe. <laughs> so make sure that you guys know. You guys know that so. you're using the right type. So, so as, for the, as for the rubber, clothes, plastics and all that, you can use the CO2. Nobody says no. Because if you use the CO2, it doesn't go off so well because there's nothing to, to cover the heat, the, the, the burning embers and all. There's nothing to cover. Because the gas just flows off very fast with the heat. Because if you had foam over the, over the burning rubber or the burning cloth, it creates an envelope and, and does not allow oxygen through. Okay? And, and the dry powder is the same, the wet chemical is the same, you can use it. Hmm? At home, I would suggest that you keep a dry powder or a CO2. That's the, the safest one for home. Because for <coughs> dry powder, because at home normally what kind of uh, fires do we have? The microwave, toasters burning, coffee maker having sparks. Just make sure you unplug and push. Or even if you don't unplug, your fuse will probably go... Yeah. So, so you can use the, the powder or the CO2, but at home the wet chemical I suggest not. Even if it's for cooking, cooking fire, you can have one in the kitchen if you want, the wet chemical, but it's just going to mess everything up. <coughs> it, it, it's going to be very yeah. messy, the foam and, and the, foam and the wet kitchen, chemical. <laughs> if it's not your kitchen, then go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so is anybody clear with this, this part of the... Right? Is powder okay. toxic? Is <coughs> powder toxic? The powder is, is not toxic. It's just the full um, powder concentrated. It, it's messy, I must say. It's dry, messy. No, it's not toxic. None of the fire extinguishers contain toxic materials because they, they know that people might come in contact with them. So fire extinguishers are normally non toxic. I mean, you can't be crazy to put the fire extinguisher facing yourself and then squeeze the handle. That is crazy. That toxic or not, you will be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Let's let's stop for that. <coughs> okay, now, any questions from what we've done? What's the difference between like the F and D? What's like F is like and what else is? What is it? D is flammable liquid, right? Yes. F is a flammable liquid. <coughs> Yes, but it's cooking fires. It's called kitchen fires and stuff. See, for turpentine, spades, uh, thinners, they, they catch fire and they spread really fast because they are sort of uh, the speed of spreading is really high when it comes to the class C fires. Class C fires are normally contained in a frying pan or a pot because you're cooking and it's like there's a limited amount of cooking oil you can use in a pot. In a pot. So that's only that area to do that. It's great. Even the deep fryer is still the same. <laughs> it's still the same. <laughs> okay, any any question any more questions, anybody? Because after this we're gonna have a little multiple choice questions. And the thing is that in order for everybody to get a certificate at the end of the course, you guys need to get a minimum of 70% pass. Or else you have to come back for the training again. Because this has got to do with lives. <coughs> so when it comes to people's lives, including your own, or your family members, or your friends, it's very, very important. So if you cannot achieve 70% on the multiple choice questions, you have to redo the, the, the whole course. Okay, I made that very clear for everyone. Now, the multiple choice questions are based on what you've, you've done so far, we've seen so far. There will be nothing more than that. They're very basic, yes, okay. And one more thing to note is for those people who, are, who, are, who will be working on places like uh, the wafer fab industry, again, I should, I should bring that up because they, of course security guards like, like us, we all do work in different environments. We may be posted from one factory to the next, to the next, to the next, so you can have many different types. So one very important thing to know is for things like wafer fab, 
for any industry that has electrical control panels that are highly sensitive. Just like earlier on we heard about the um, iCloud storage system, you know, all the computer. Okay, what kind of fire protection do you think they would have there? They will not have any of these. No? No? They will have the only fire system they can use is the Halon fire system, H-A-L-O-N. Halon gas is a poisonous gas. But it does not react with anything. So that's why that gas is used only in specific industries. And halon gas fire extinguishers are very easy to recognize. They are green. Green fire extinguishers. It's either green or with green label. Yeah. Okay. Now, everybody can get back to your seats. If there are no more questions, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll hand out the, the multiple choice questions to everyone. Please pass them around. Now don't forget, we have to achieve at least 70% pass, pass rates. Oh, you can do it. Open the The aim here is that you know. The aim here is that everybody knows what the five, a uh, minimum of two fire extinguishers that are common to use, yeah? Write your names on the top right. The class you can put as Yes. Yes. Yours is red. Which one? Oh. Like I said, it can be any color as long if it's green. It's either the label is green or the whole fire extinguisher is green for you. Blue is either the whole fire extinguisher is blue or the label is blue. It's either one. <laughs> yeah, the label or sometimes the fire extinguisher itself is blue. Blue, it's all or green, green, or yeah. uh, green in color. So that is where it's confusion. No, there's no confusion. Oh, How are you confused? Hmm? How can I help you with your own? So this one got a tiny little blue label on. Yes. Right. So the blue one outside is the same. Yes, it is. You guys have five minutes to complete. <laughs> Question two, like for three correct questions. Oh, okay. two, three correct answers. I'll just choose one. Okay, you have two more minutes for your multiple choice questions. questions to that table and that table pass your multiple choice questions over to here. Please exchange with this table your multiple choice questions. 
is used for wood or paper fire? ABD. Okay. If you put A, B, or D, I'll accept the answer. Okay, okay what fire extinguisher is blue? When I refer to the, the colors, I mean oh. what type are they? The label. Really? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, so the question is. You want to change the question? What color is blue? What is needed to sustain a fire? Oxygen, wood, heat, or all of the items? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's black. Oh, it's black. <laughs> <laughs> what does a fire extinguisher... Ex D, yes. How does a fire extinguisher extinguish a fire? What answer did you all get? C. 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 Very good. Okay, what do you do in case of a large or building fire? Residence. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. Yeah? No, call it. It's not call residence. Call residence. Large or building fire. Call the fire department. Oh, they can't find enough people. They need the fire department. They got to come first. They have to come in. No, just call the fire department. Just say fire department. You don't need to call anybody else. Just the fire department, yeah? Yeah, don't tell anyone else. They must be asleep. <laughs> what type of fire extinguisher is used for electrical apparatus? C. Dry powder. Dry powder, yes. Foam? Any good? Foam? No, I'll just mess up the electrical equipment. What does CO2 fire extinguisher contain? Halon gas, oxygen, carbon dioxide, or hydrogen gas? Halon. Oxygen. 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 CO2 extinguisher. B, carbon dioxide. CO2 is carbon dioxide. Okay, a CO2 fire extinguisher can be used for wood or paper fire. True or false? False. Very good. And the last one, the fire extinguisher should be kept in a cabinet in the office. True or false? False. Very good. True, something I've seen it. <laughs> okay, you can give me the papers because I'll, I'll read the answers. And for those who came, you'll have to attend again. Very good. Thank you. 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 Thank Today's lessons. Today's lesson. How are we going to remember this thing after the test? How are you going to remember? <laughs> but when you go to work, there's a fire extinguisher next to you. Please look at it and read it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just look. Yeah, read. You must remember everything, not just the No, no, no. Travel, right? This is just so information for oh. all of you to know. But when you're at your work sites, you, you look at the fire extinguisher that's nearest to you and know about what its uses are. Because if you don't, if there's a fire extinguisher right next to you and there's a fire up there, also near you, and if it doesn't match up, if you have a dusting next to you, which is not, no, but 
If you call the fire department once, when you could actually have just used a fire extinguisher. No, inform the building management or change the fire extinguisher. Get the fire. If the fire extinguisher next to you is the wrong one in your security guard post. And there's a no, no, when you go back to work tomorrow, please check. No, what fire extinguisher you have? Thank you. <laughs>